Brittany, how can we help? Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. You bet. What's Uh, up, Brittany? Yeah, so my husband, his truck payment is almost as much as our mortgage. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me get the Pepsi AC out. How much are we talking about, Brittany? So it's it's right over fourteen hundred. Oh, wow. oh boy, I'm feeling faint, Ooh. Jade. I'm faint. I went into James <laughs> Brown mode. Wow, <laughs> goodness gracious! Yeah. So yes, we, we have total money makeover. We're currently um, about to start Financial Peace University. She understands why we don't use credit cards and all that. But when okay. it comes to his truck, when it comes to the truck, he says, "I work hard. I deserve a nice truck." But I'm just trying to figure out if there's some magic words that I can say and yeah, that will like I got the magic words. I got the magic yes. words. You're sleeping on the couch. Hey, okay. <laughs> oh, watch out. No, I'm sorry. That's probably not the best Look. marital advice, but I do think Jade at this point we've got a serious conversation. He can't be taking the baby step seriously and justifying a $1400 truck payment. I mean, I just want to know when people say things like I deserve, I'm like, "Really? You deserve to be in debt?" I cuz I feel like I deserve to be debt free. I deserve to have a future. I deserve to not live paycheck to paycheck. I deserve to be able to have the margin to invest for my future, for my children. Like people need to reframe when they say what they deserve or not. Um, So that could be a place where you start. But in all good, uh, calmed down advice, (laughs) Ken and I kind of went off the the spout there. Um, You do need to sit down and you do need to have a conversation and it needs to be an adult conversation because right now, I mean, I'm not saying this in an insulting way, but he's in a selfish mode and he's kind of in a, a for right now mode. And we need to get in a more futuristic. There's more ahead of us than just right now. There's more people that are um, feeling the effects of this than him. And so being able to have that conversation is going to be really important to you. Um, And I have found that when you use language that's kind of like, hey, I'm uh, I'm, here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid X, Y, Z. Or here's what I'm so excited for. And if we could just get to this, that would give me so much joy. Like if you can really find ways to bring um, your fears into it, but also like the things that would just cause you so much happiness and joy in life. Those are big markers and should be big markers Uh, For the people who love you and care about you, they should want to hear about those things. And when you share those things, it should cause them to make a reaction. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes total sense. What's the What's your take home pay? Um, together almost two hundred. Okay, good, good. Two hundred thousand take home. Yes. Yes. Way to go. Okay, so you look even at that kind of income. I mean, this is a huge chunk of your monthly budget. Fourteen hundred dollars, massive. And yeah, the our truck is sixteen hundred. <laughs> oh my gosh! And 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 how long ago did he get the truck? Um, about six months ago. And and what did he pay for it? Um, I think it was like eighty-five or ninety. Oh my gosh! I'm lightheaded again. So eighty to ninety thousand. Yeah. And and you know what would be very interesting in this conversation, Jade? Tell me if I'm wrong here. But as I'm sharing those feelings of what that does to you and how that makes you feel, you've got to point out how that. It'd be fun to get a, a an amortization schedule like you would on a house, but on a car, it's hard to get that. But how much that car is devaluing? Oh, it's going down like a rock. That's and so he's paying like fourteen hundred dollars a month on something. The difference with your house is that's an asset for you guys. The truck is a liability, and where that deserve yeah. statement comes in, it starts to to lose its power when you start talking about what you could be doing with the fourteen hundred dollars. Here's yeah. here's the thing. Um, Ken makes a very, very good point. So you said you're bringing home $200,000 a year, right? So what, 16000 yeah. almost $17,000 a month? Yeah. Fourteen. Where he's at, I'm going to tell you where he's going. Four, I mean, we have almost $17,000 a month. Fourteen hundred. that's nothing. That's yeah. what he's thinking. It's a very yeah. small piece of that. Um, by the way, your mortgages as well. But what I'm looking at is... Because you have so much income, there should be zero reason for debt. How easy, yeah. how easy would it be? Uh, and let me point this out too. Typically, do you have any other cars, by the way? Or is it just? Um, yeah, yep, we have one more. What else do you have? Uh, we have a Ford Explorer. And how much is that worth? 
Um, I believe around 40, but that's paid off. Okay. So typically we wouldn't want you to have any more than half of your income yearly in vehicles because they go down in value. So you're right at that. I personally, because of your income, I'd be like, look, we make money. We can pay this off or we can, you know what I'm saying? Like there's, I think there's a way that you guys can meet in the middle. $1,400 a month. That is just a lot of money to be giving away in payments when you could be debt free. What other debt do you have? Um, a house. And then I have a student loan. How much is a student loan? Um, 20,000. Yeah. So a hundred thousand dollars in debt you guys have, you live on 200. You can pay all of this off in a year and everybody's happy. Yeah. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. Awesome. That's what I would do (laughs) because here's the thing. He does earn a lot of money. You guys do earn a lot of money and he's probably like, I don't need to drive a jalopy. We earn $200,000 a year. And you know, then paid off. But he's taken out a loan on a truck. Yeah, he should have paid cash for it. almost half of what they bring home. She said 80 yeah. to 90. She said somewhere yeah. between 80 to 90,000 he paid for that truck. Yeah, it's too, Th- it's, it's expensive, a, but it's not more than half of their. I understand, but. My, it's still expensive. It's re, it's out of whack in that you've got a loan for half of what you take home. He shouldn't have got a loan. He should have paid cash. He's got yeah. so much money. He should, they should have been, it would have felt so great to walk on that lot buy it a couple of years used so spend 20,000 less and walk home with a car in cash. I'll tell you what, $90,000 for a truck, that truck needs to power your entire house. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? It needs to do the laundry, it needs Watch to the kids. I mean, yeah, yeah, put the kids to bed, you know, the whole 9 yards. That's a lot of It's just crazy when the value on that is just dropping and dropping know, and they're w- upside down. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. But yeah, I know. I know, know people do it. I mean, we've got people on TikTok bragging about how they have joint uh, car payments of $2,100. They're like, Eey! I know, they're like, crazy. It's sort of fun. It's just like they're we're crazy. mind numb robots. Yeah. No, I wouldn't oh. do it, but I would pay it off I've like, got if, they, if I were there. That's what I got.